so good morning welcome along to eclipse motorcycles today we're going to be looking at this now this is the um vegas edition 125 and it's a water-cooled machine and it's the last of the range as well these have now been discontinued but this is a ride test for our customer hugh and we're just going to have a quick look in on that bike all the renegade vegas sport logos all over it very very easy to see that coolant bottle down there very easy access to all the engine now the only difference between this and the standard Renegade Commando is that this one has the crash bungs here. On the Commando you've got the big metal side bars on this. Now this one does look a lot better with those crash bungs on. And the headlight is slightly different. This one full LED and a load of running lights at the top of it. So we're going to fire this one up in a minute and have a final walk around this one and just show you the front end on that. And just walking down the side of the machine liquid cooled radiator to the front all those vegas logos and that big pipe to the back and you've got some nice grab rails for your passenger just here and these obviously can come with an accessory kit so you can put the panniers in here like we have on the renegade commando so we're just going to fire up the ignition and the ignition on this one's slightly different you've got a steering lock which is just down here under the steering and the ignition key there rather than just have it all on the front so dials are slightly different we'll do that when we sit on the machine it's going to fire this one up and that's got a lovely purr to it so on the side of this you've got some nice running lights as well that go to the side obviously that makes cars a bit more aware to the side of the vehicle and there we go you've got that nice daytime running light to the front and when we flick it up into main beam as you can see that thing is incredibly bright that is blindingly bright with those leds on it so a really good set of lights on this one so we're just going to sit you back on the machine that is emblazoned with logos everywhere we've got another renegade vegas sport here and obviously your warning sticker there this has got a side stand and it's also got a main stand to it to run you through the controls so right hand column you've got the engine kill button, you've also got set hazard lights, start button over on the left you've got the pass light just at the top, main beam, dip beam, indicators and the horn and then just looking in on those clocks so you've got your miles an hour on the inside, kilometres on the outside, so around about 10 o'clock position as we say before 10, 11, 12 and 1, so 10 is 30, 11 is 40, 12 bang on the centre is 50 and 1 o'clock is 60 so 10, 11, 12, 1. At the bottom you've got your trip, your fuel, and then you've got your indicators just to the bottom of this dial there and there. Engine warning light and all your other lights as well for your main beam. Mirrors on this, exceptionally wide, so I would say it's about an eighth of my shoulder in that mirror, but perfect view of the road behind me. And then the same on the left hand mirror, we'll just adjust that one out. And as you see, if I look over there, I've got a nice view of the road behind me. Clutch is lovely and smooth on this one. We have checked all the position of absolutely all the levers. So time now to take this uh, Vegas out and give it a run. Now obviously this one's got the forward pegs that are just below those crash bungs. So worst case scenario, should the bike go over, your feet are going to be protected by those crash bungs. Not that you'd want to drop one of these. This is such a lovely bike. So just pulling through the gearbox on this, in the second, third, up to fourth, nice and gently, and then into fifth, just building those revs up slowly. And you've got a gear speed indicator just in the uh, top left of the digital display, just the left of the fuel gauge. And we're going to drop the mast down. Now today it's uh, very, very windy. It's cold, it's damp, no rain as of yet, hopefully. And we're just going to bring it up to a nice steady 40. And the throttle response on this is great. Front brake on this is so nice. So we're just going to get it straightened up. Come in on the front brake because I'm in on new tyres. And that thing absolutely stops on a sixpence. Now this one has the combined braking system on it that will give you a portion of back wheel and front wheel on the foot brake and your front brake does the front brake only. EFI on this one as well 
and obviously those nice side daytime running lights. So what we're going to do with this, we're going to get a little bit of mileage on the dual carriageway as I normally do to go into town and do a slightly urban route just to show you what this cruiser is like around town. So once again back through the gearbox, road holding on this, especially with these big wide handlebars, it's a very very stable bike. Now this has got uh, obviously a single seat on it and then you've got the plastic hump to the rear but this does come with the pillion seat as well so if you did want to go two up on this very very easy just to unscrew the three screws that just hold that plastic cover down drop the rear seat in place and job's a good one as they say so you can go two up on this but I think it looks a so so much better with just that single seat cruiser look and obviously seat on this is very very wide very very soft and it holds its position very very well ample view of the road behind me so I can check out all the cars and with a water cooled engine obviously you're going to be uh, cruising for hours and hours you haven't got to worry about uh, the likes of an air cooled engine overheating on you so it's all been tested by the boys so it's up to me now just to get the road mileage on it for the customer and then report back and say yep ride test is good video is going to go up for you and then the customer can obviously see his bike being ridden at a nice steady speed now I did uh, mention on one of my uh, videos the other day and we heard on the side of caution and didn't include it. I thought, should I do it or should I not do it? Um, I put the uh, a question out on my uh, my page to a few of my uh, followers and said, look, I've got this. I've just found this video. Go and watch this video of another company. <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> taking out a Lexmoto. Now they are doing um, a demonstration on the new Lexmoto Iska. Starts off all good. And I've got a feeling they're starting to copy what I do. I don't mind. I don't mind impersonators or anybody doing what I do. But please, Lexmoto tell you what to do for running in a new bike. And uh, he starts off by uh, sitting on the bike. This is what it does. This is the fuel capacity. This is the seat height. Um, this is the new Isca. Yes, we're going to take it out and put some road mileage on it. Okay, exactly what I do. And... Uh, He's obviously got a GoPro on or a, a helmet cam and he looks up then looks down and I've got a screenshot of uh, how many miles are on that bike and his speed and he's actually at two miles in so he's literally come out of the workshop onto the first bit of dual carriage where you can find two miles in and he's straight up maximum speed engine is bouncing off the rev limiter and he's doing 63. I pity the person that buys that Isca. I really do pity the person that buys that Isca. If you're going to take a bike out as a dealer and you're going to rag that thing straight up to 63, you're going to be blowing those pistons, you're going to be causing so much engine damage. And, and obviously that's why that certain dealership does get a lot of complaints. And they have mentioned obviously that dealership to us and we're like, yes I know, but at the end of the day we don't comment on what other dealers do that is individual preference if that's what they want to do and the customers want to leave beef, bad feedback then go do it but obviously we are a little bit finicky about what we do we take pride in our work and every customer bike hence why we do a ride video because that customer can see that this bike is being ridden at 40 mile an hour we're not taking it down the road we're absolutely ragging the pants off of it and uh, He's getting a perfect quality bike that has been PDI'd quite a few times, checked all over, made sure it is running perfectly, everything adjusted, all bolt checked, and uh, it is good to go. But obviously, some dealers are more concerned about uh, farming a bike out as quick as they can, getting the bang in their pocket, or getting the bucks in their pocket, and uh, another bike sold, uh -huh, more money in my till. That is not the way that most bike dealers work. Uh, biking is a brotherhood as we say 
and we're all there to enjoy it and if you do have an issue that is what we are there for at the end of the day you buy a bike from us you've got a problem get it back into us we will sort that issue out and uh, it just annoys the hell out of me that some dealers just think that they can oh that's it quick bulk check two miles on the clock give it a quick rag down the road there we go there's your new bike mate so uh, that is a personal opinion and obviously I have been chatting to a lot of Lexmoto dealers that follow me on the uh, Lexmoto Owners UK page and if you do want to obviously check bikes out get on Lexmoto Owners uh, UK there are some damn good dealers on there and uh, quite a few of them obviously message me back and say yeah I agree with you Dave this is what you should do this is what you shouldn't do um, but obviously my, my comments are my personal comments and I can't comment on what other dealers do so I tend to be very very straight and down the middle but it does just annoy the hell out of me that uh, some people do get this obviously you're going to get your gripes you're going to get your whingers uh, most of the people that do gripe about Chinese bikes have never ridden one in their life and if they do and it's like a gentleman with a Titan oh, I've only got it 5,000 miles and uh, it's playing up it's in and out the dealers we'll send it back to the dealer then but you've done 5,000 miles on it have you done all your servicing you know how much warranty have you got left so it tends to be 50-50 never believe what everybody tells you and that is why I tend to be very straight and true and obviously when I first took the Isker out I slated the bike absolutely slated it I hated it um, I'm in love with it now because obviously that big tank and the knee deflectors on it does take the wind off of you and it is a glorious ride so it was just the fact that I'm used to being on a sports bike but that is individual choice again so as I say I'm riding this one for you we're going to bang a bit more mileage up of this in a minute and uh, we'll come back into town when I've done the uh, last couple of k's on it just to show you that the bike is running fine and that everything is a okay obviously we edit out if everything rides well if I do have an issue then I tend to leave it in the video so we're going to catch up with you guys hopefully at the end of the ride and we'll be back shortly so just at the end of the dual carriageway mileage now coming back in for a bit of urban and just to show you this thing being uh, pushed around around about nice and gently and the road holding on this as I said before absolutely superb so I'm just going to push it through the twisties as I say and that's in third gear nice little bit of steady torque on it and with this rubber on the tyres very very stable holds the road absolutely perfectly and just bring on the power for the last corner and it pulls away very very well even up a hill so for a little 125 water cooled as I've said in numerous videos it does what it says on the tin so I've said before this one's being ridden for you just to show you now we've got uh, 17 miles on the clock so almost at the end of the test mileage this bike has ridden absolutely superbly no issues whatsoever with this motorcycle and obviously that's what happens when you do a correct PDI and QC you don't get any issues with the motorcycle if you're just going to chuck your spanners around it quick you're going to end up with an absolute shed load of problems so coming to the end of the ride test just a couple of things obviously if you do like the video like and subscribe smash the hell out the notifications guys from Eclipse Motorcycles can be found on Facebook they've got their own website as well eclipsemotorcyclesmk.co.uk easiest way to find all the social media links is off my page which is revbomb.co.uk garage is on the first page so on the main page as you open up the website down the very bottom links to Eclipse Motorcycles Facebook the contact number is there the link to their website all the details of what we do who we follow and all the suppliers that we use and then if you go to the social media pages for Revbomb you'll find all my links on the social media page that's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and the YouTube channel till then whatever you're doing this week do have yourself a good one be well if you're out riding ride safely guys until the next time it's me saying goodbye and have yourself a good one so it's a big goodbye from me